Hey guys, Doc Andrew here with Charlotte Athletes. Golfers will do just about anything to improve performance, whether that's getting the latest practice tools or getting a brand new driver. What if I could tell you that there's a way that you could potentially add up to 45 yards on your drive without spending a dime? Well, it may sound simple, but that answer is an effective dynamic warm up. You know, in other sports, athletes will warm up without even thinking twice. But for some reason, golf tends to be a little bit different. But when you think about it, you know, golf is actually very similar to sprinting in that, you know, it's a very explosive action that culminates with force generation through the body to produce the movement. But sprinters would never head out onto the track without warming up. Why is golf different? Despite these similarities, you know, it's very common that I speak with golfers that don't do anything for a warm up. So <clears throat> I want to show you a very effective dynamic warm up routine that consists of five exercises that you're going to work through. Won't take very long at all. Very effective. So here they are. The first one is called the world's greatest stretch. You're going to take a big step forward with one leg, place your opposite hand to the ground. Drop your elbow to the ground, hold for two seconds, rotate to the side, then your leg is on. Two seconds up here. Stand up, switch. Hand to the ground, elbow down, two second hold, two second hold. Stand up, switch. And you're gonna essentially go through this for about 30 to 40 yards. 30 to 40 feet, not 30 to 40 yards. That would be far. 30 to 40 feet. All right, so that's number one, okay? Number two, we're gonna do a walking lunge with a thoracic twist. Thoracic is your mid-back area. So lunge straight down. You're gonna twist to the same side that the knee is on, okay? That's gonna help keep your back safe, low back safe. Switch here, switch here. Good. Again, about 30 to 40 feet. Next, walking single leg deadlift. It's going to help get the post of your chain ready. Keep the back straight. Soft bend in the knee, reaching down towards the ground. You don't have to touch the ground. In fact, I don't want you to touch the ground. Just go as low as your hamstring will let you. Take a step or two, switch, and down. With the back leg to stay in line with your body when you're doing this, okay? Switch. Okay. Good. So that's number three. Number four, got to get the groins loose. Okay. So you can take a step sideways, sink down into it in a lateral lunge, sink back the other way, switch, turn around, repeat the same thing, forward and back. Good. And then repeat again. So when I'm going down, I'm feeling it here. When I'm going down this side, I'm feeling it here. Back and then switch. All right, very last one is really important. This is going to get your core loose. Excuse me, it's going to get your core warmed up. It's going to get your hamstrings loose. And it's going to get your shoulders uh, nice and warmed up as well. It's called inchworm. And it's going to get your mid-back loose. This is an all-in-one. <clears throat> Start in the straight plank position. You're going to keep the legs straight. Walk them in as far as you can. Walk the hands out. Back to plank position, then you're gonna do a down dog. That's throw the hips up, head through and then back, and then inchworm. Down dog. One more time. All right, and you do that one about this 30 feet as well. Five exercises, as you can see, my heart rate's up a little bit. Not only helps to improve mobility in some really important areas like the hips, thoracic spine, shoulders, but helps to get the body uh, heart rate up, helps to get the body warm, helps to get you set to swing the club. Definitely try it before you uh, get on the course of the driving range, makes a huge difference.